Hi friends, Simit here from InformedTrades.com. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about multi time frame analysis, particularly instances where lower time frames are better or more advantageous than higher time frames, sort of comparing the two. Uh, it's basically Many traders will argue, and I certainly agree with this idea, that higher time frames are more accurate or there's less noise in a way. There's a greater probability on a higher time frame. Um, but lower time frames do have some advantages, and I didn't want to talk a little bit about that in this video. Um, okay, the key points. Uh, the biggest thing is that basically sometimes patterns form on lower time frames that don't form on higher uh, time frames. So if you're a technical trader, uh, you know you, you'll basically get the signal you're looking for, the kind of patterns you're looking for on a t lower time frame that may not occur on a higher time frame. Uh, if uh, at the same time, or you know related to that, if you wait for confirmation on a higher time frame, often it doesn't come, or you don't get the kind of confirmation you're looking for. The move occurs without you, basically in that case. Um, with all this said. You know, lifestyle, your psychology, and risk management are still, you know, the most important factors. So even if, you know, the most wonderful setup is occurring on, you know, lower time frame charts, if that's not something that you could execute within your lifestyle, if you're not comfortable with it psychologically, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and you have to stick to what you can execute well. Okay, here's uh, an example uh, British pound, New Zealand dollar, one hour chart. Uh, this is a trade I recently took. Um, the we see the market rallying, you know, with a lot of strength right up around here. And then here's a resistance line. You can see, you know, what happened last time price was here. This resistance level shows up on the four hour chart as well, which we'll get to momentarily. Um, and the market sort of goes through this resistance level, but not too far beyond it. And then we start to get some really nice reversal candlesticks. Um, you know, this candle in particular, a long wick candle at resistance, that's a sort of textbook setup. Something I really love to see a long wick at resistance for support. Um, to me, that's the kind of opportunity that I, is my favorite technical setup, maybe. Um, and then we get, you know, a couple short candles here, which signals possible distribution. Uh, this candle here is also another long wick candle. What I really like about the setup is, so when this, when I saw this candle, I entered a half short, or I entered half my uh, available risk uh, at market order. So basically, got in right around here. Then I had an entry order, limit entry order, in case we get a pullback that's, you know, right deep into this candle here. Um, and that ended up getting filled in this candle. So it was an easy setup that worked out really well for me. You know, when you get, this is a really long wick here. You know, the longer the wick, the more significant. I was able to place my stop just a little bit above here because of the length of this wick. So it was a really nice and easy setup because the stop was kind of tight. Um, you know, and I was looking for three to one reward to risk. I was able to get that uh, right around here. So it worked out, you know, very well. Nice, simple setup uh, that was pretty clear. Now, if I had been looking on a four hour chart, you know, here is basically these two candles right here relate to or are the same as these candles, this zone right here. Uh, so on the four hour chart, you know, we don't get the, as nice a long of a wick. And it's a bullish candle, so some people may not even want to take the signal at all. Um, you know, if it's just, you know, you might take it. There is a resistance level here, but it's not as clear. Now, if you wanted to wait for additional confirmation, you don't really get it because this next candle is the big move down. So it's not nearly as good of a setup. You know, personally, if I was just looking on a four hour chart, I might, uh, you know, want to put my stop. A little bit further out, which means I have to hold on longer to get a, the nice reward I'm looking for. Uh, so this is an example where the setup was really clear on a one-hour chart, but on a four-hour chart, you know, you don't get the long wicks. There's not enough time really to wait for additional confirmation. Uh, so the setup really just isn't as nice. And that sort of illustrates, you know, how sometimes a four-hour chart or a shorter time frame can have an advantage over the longer time frame. Uh, that's about it. Just a simple example there to, to illustrate. Uh, if you have any questions, anything you want to add, join us over at informedtrades.com. Thanks and best of luck in your trading.